to period poverty. He used to sell for just four cities, but now, as we speak, sanitary parts sell for uh, some close to 20 Ghana cities. That's the situation as we speak uh, for uh, a pack, and uh, of course, uh, that's like a five fold increase in the price. This has left a number of uh, women incapable of uh, buying sanitary parts during menstruation, not to talk about the teenage. Uh, girl out there. It, it is uh, the way it is because campaigners say uh, th there are too many taxes uh, being imposed on sanitary parts here in Ghana. This uh, afternoon, uh, of course, uh, we know that uh, a group of people were taken to the streets earlier today uh, just to demonstrate in the streets of Accra, demanding that government intervene into this matter by lowering taxes to help drive down the cost of sanitary parts. And, uh, there's more in this report for you. The day that I did not have a part, I stayed home and used rag. It affected me. And the class said we went, we want to write. It was about, it's, um, the subject was science. It, my, my best subject is science. So it affected me. Last month, when I was facing my menstruation period, I was, my mother was unable to buy a pad for me, so I stayed home. And because of the shame, I was in the room. I was unable to get out. But in me, I want to be a lawyer in future. So if I do not go to school and learn hard, I can't achieve that goal. So I'm pleasing all the government that they should reduce the taxes on the sanitary part so that I can go to school and my, my parents can buy some of the sanitary parts for me. Also, let's expand the conversation on this. Uh, joining us in studio is a group of protesters. Uh, one uh, individual who was, uh, I mean, two of them, they were all part of the uh, demonstration earlier today. And uh, one is a female, so has first hand information on some uh, of these issues. Uh, we're uh, joined in studio now uh, by uh, a number of uh, individuals uh, who, who are part of uh, the CSO's platform. Uh, and of course, we have the executive director uh, with uh, Renel. Uh, Ghana also joining through. We'll get you their names uh, shortly, but uh, lady and gentlemen, welcome to uh, the program. Let me start off by getting to know you. Of course, um, you, you are part of the demonstration today, right? Yes. Please. You run a CSO? Yeah, I run a CSO. Yes, so I'm, I'm the lead uh, convener for Renel Ghana Foundation, mm -hmm. yeah. which is CSO advocating for and promoting the right of women and girls. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I was part of the CSO platform who demonstrated today. Uh, and this whole conversation about lowering uh, the taxes. Of course, we'll, we'll deal with the first-hand experience uh, because there's a lady also uh, with us uh, today. Uh, but, but the issue about the taxes, is that where the challenge really is? Yeah, so what we've noticed is that uh, it's about the classification of uh, uh, sanitary products. So like condoms are classified as health necessity. Mm -hmm. We believe that, first of all, government must uh, reclassify uh, the where sanitary parts are being placed as miscellaneous uh, 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 products. Mm -hmm which is uh, become a luxury. Mm. So we believe that if it's being reclassified as health necessity, mm. uh, task, it can be free, tax-free also as well. And we believe that that can serve a long way to help mm. our girls as well to achieve whatever goals and the agenda 2030 mm. government is supporting. Okay, uh, but, but when you decided to, to join the whole campaign today, were you doing that because of the concern you share with other women out there or you feel, well, because I'm simply I'm a woman, we all need to do this. Well, I think um, it should be both because first of all, yes, I'm a woman. Mm. And then I share concern because I feel like um, certain people don't really have it easy. Mm. And you can all see the fact that sanitary mm. parts are very, very expensive these days. So I believe like doing this will go a long way to help take the tax on the sanitary parts. Mm. And uh, of course, wh when, when you look at this whole conversation going on, wh why do you feel there's some sort of hesitation on the part of authorities, policymakers, to, to just listen to the call that you've been making all these years? 
I think this has been going on for a while. Mm. I don't really know if I should say they are not interested mm -hmm. or they feel it's, it's okay because mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, we are still buying the sanitary yeah. parts. So they feel like even if they keep adding more taxes, no matter what, since it's a necessity, mm -hmm. we are going to buy them. So I feel like they've just decided not to do anything about it. Mm. And in fact, uh, for, for those who are not getting the image of this and what we're talking about, Isaac Ejiz is with a um, he's a data analyst uh, here at uh, Join News and he's been looking at the figures, what it means for an average person out there to afford uh, these products that we're talking about. Um, so let's get to it. Isaac, uh, just take us away in terms of the data and what we have about the tax conditions and how we could possibly make it more bearable for, for, for the average person out there. Uh, Isaac, if you can hear me, I'm just asking about uh, the cost elements and, and how we could make it better in terms of uh, policy options available to government in terms of uh, the tax measures. I don't know if you are referring to me, because um, I'm Isaac Ofe from the Ministry of Health. Uh, yes, uh, and you are also joining uh, this, this whole conversation about um, the, the need to push for the lowering of the taxes. Of course, you've been listening to the conversation as well. Uh, just before I bring in uh, my colleague, uh, you also have a take on all of this and why, of course, we're seeing that challenge on the part of the health, uh, not just health, the finance ministry. And from your quarters as well, the question has always come to you, the need to push for the lowering of the taxes. Why do you think it's taking longer? Um, like I said earlier, I met them this um, afternoon on behalf of the Honorable Minister and my Chief Director. We received a petition from them. However, we acknowledge the fact that some concerns raised by them are genuine concerns. And the Ministry is also working on some policies to ensure that some of these issues are taken care of. They realize that the issue cannot be dealt with only by the Ministry of Health. Rather, it's the Ministry of Health, uh, Ministry of Finance, Parliament, Ministry of Sanitation, all of us coming together to make sure that this issue is dealt with. And so we give them the assurance that for the Ministry of Health, whatever that we are supposed to do, the Honorable, the Honorable Minister himself is so particular about some of these issues. And so he would work on his part and submit the proposals out. Rather, we plead that other agencies, other partners would also come together and then we put it together so that we are able to deal with this issue as early as possible. How soon will you deal with the challenges? Um, we at the Ministry of Health, my Chief Director, my the Minister are seriously working on it. And we can't give any timeline now because we don't know what the other sister minist uh, ministries will also come, come up with that we believe that we would do our part of the bar. Mm. Uh, and Nelson, when, when you were at the ministry today, uh, did you get the assurance? And, and is this answer encouraging for you? Well, um, we, we, at least uh, he's saying that they, are, they will do something about that. That is why it's what you were saying. We know only the health ministry cannot um, achieve this goal. Yeah. So we've also sent petition to the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Gender, uh, the speaker of parliament are because these, these are the people, uh, the sectors that we believe that when they come together, it can happen. And this shouldn't be a difficult task to do because the vice president himself has promised, even in 2020, uh, prior to the 2020 election, that they will take it off. So that is it's something that they can do. It's just a conversation that you have to have a cabinet. And that, that can so be Do done. you feel it's as easy as that? Oh, because it involves businesses as well. But when the when government was men on uh, uh, imposing e levy, it was done. So why why should sanitary part tax be a difficult thing to do? Uh, for those who do not see the relevance and how that is affecting, for instance, our daily growth, development as a nation, what would you say to such a person? Yes, I I, I believe that if 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 you have a mom or maybe you have a sister, mm -hmm. this should be of a great concern to you because I'm sure you as a man, whether if you have a girl child or maybe you have a sister. You definitely give money out, and part of that money is being used to buy some drippers. So this should be a, a big concern uh, to us. Um, like the way we all advocate, when, uh, when Ghanaians said they don't want it, everybody came on board. Uh, an example is uh, the LGBTQ. 
every church, every mock, everybody is coming on board for us to make sure that it doesn't happen. So I believe that this is a, 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 a campaign that we all have to come on board and fight it like the way we are doing with LGBTQ, where everybody must get involved. Are you seeing that support from, from government the way you want it to go? Well, we have been writing releases, and this is the time that we say we have hit the street. We have uh, petitioned sector ministries. So we are giving some time, and we'll keep pushing. We'll keep monitoring and following up on whatever the issue will be, and we believe that we'll make... Uh, uh, some impact. Yes. Yeah, uh, but, but, but the interaction has been going on with, uh, I mean, fellow women and, and females out there, we, those who are younger than, than you are. What ex personal experiences do you, do you get from these people? Well, I'm coming from the northern part of Ghana. Mm. And I can attest to the fact that it's, it's really not easy. The tax on sanitary pad is, is causing more harm because as in this age and day, there are certain girls that have never had the experience of using a sanitary pad. They don't know what it looks like. They don't know how it feels. They just don't have any knowledge not about at all. it. And it's really depressing. Mm. When you go to rural communities and you are talking about sanitary parts, like when you see their facial expressions, I'm sure you are going to be touched because you keep asking yourself, wow, so there's really someone who has never yeah. seen or used a sanitary pad before. And, and there are situations where we understand that some of these young girls are taken advantage of. Yes. Simply because of, of, of this period of poverty. Yes. This How is true not is a that? Movie. It's really happening. Because let's say her parents cannot afford sanitary pad and there is just a boy around the corner who can just buy her sanitary pad. She becomes very vulnerable because whatever he says, she's doing that since he can produce the sanitary pad for her. So if you're to add your voice to, to the thousands of, I mean, females and women out there, what, what would that message be? Okay, I'll just have to say you are not alone. I know it's not going to be easy, mm -hmm. but this is a stepping stone. So I'm sure it will get better from here. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Ofe, this brings up the question about targeting. Why are you not targeting at least the vulnerable ones, trying to revise government policy so at least those in school and, and young girls have access to this um, sanitary products at a very reduced cost? Yes, um, like I said, I am limiting myself to the point of the Ministry of Health. And rightly, it's had a number of stakeholders involved into confirming a particular decision regarding this uh, issue that we are discussing today. And so the assurance that I can give is that the Honorable Minister himself, Honorable Kwekwa Jumameno, is so particular about issues like this. And so when we even submitted a petition to him, he discussed it straight away with the uh, Chief Director, that it should speed up with our part of the policies that we want to put up. So it will be difficult for the Ministry of Health to say that we want to target a particular group and leave another group. This is a holistic uh, agreement that should come from all the stakeholders that are involved. And so we will plead with time and at the right time, the stakeholders will come together, issue a particular statement to direct the way the policy will drive us. So, I, so what, what policy, and give us details of that policy, because a lot more people would want to know what, what concrete steps you're taking and how you'd want this policy to look like? Yes, like I said, it's today we received a petition today. And so we will factor in a number of issues that have been raised in that petition, mm -hmm. that particular to the Ministry of Health. And it's, until we are able to do that, it will be difficult for us, for me here now, to come out with the concrete details of that policy. So I will say that at the right time, when we are okay with it, we'll publish it out like we normally do, and everybody will get but, but, but the policy you have going on now, it's not, it's not, it's not as a result of the demonstration, is it? Yeah, the assurance that I'm giving out is that I, they are aware. We came there with the director of pharmacies who spoke to them and had said a number of issues to them. And so critically, the ministry is working on some, something. The yeah, ministry, but, but what I'm asking is that the policy you have already running, you're not doing that yeah. policy because of today's demonstration. That's why I was asking yeah. about the details. Yeah, the policy we have running regarding, um, we don't have any policy regarding sanitary pad reduction, 
you know that cannot emanate from the Ministry of Health. It has to I, do I'm with talking uh, about menstrual hygiene. You, you have you do have a policy. You are working on one. If you don't, yeah, we have a menstrual hygiene policy. But as we speak now, I can't talk about it because that was not the subject that I've directed to speak on today. But at the right time, I think it's available. Okay, but if you're working on it, exactly how are you working on it? You know, when you talk about the Ministry of Health, we have a number of agencies and then uh, 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 directorates under the ministry. And so taking one policy, when you take um, sanitary, like we're talking about, it's cut across a number of directorates or uh, agencies. And so putting it together, you need a holistic assessment from the various stakeholders that are involved. And so if I am asked to speak to that now, it will be difficult because we received this petition just this morning. And so it will be difficult for me to say that this is how far we have worked with it. Are you, so reacting, are you reacting to the policy or, or are you suggesting that the ministry is now getting aware or, I mean, you're now realizing that this conversation has been on yeah. for a possible reduction in, in the prices of sanitary products for these young I, I am I am, I am, reacting, to, I am re reacting to the extent of the reason why I am asked to speak to this. Yes, I but, went in for the petition. But and I obviously, you you have you, you have an overview of what, the ministry, of what the ministry is doing, right? Yes, yes. Uh, so, so that's why I'm asking the question as to what's been I, happening over the years, uh, and how come you're not able to share that with us? Oh, we have shared a number of policies on our website. We've shared a number of policies with our partners and all that. It's rather unfortunate that you said you don't have some of those policies, but I can tell you that when you assess our uh, website, we have a number of policies on that. The issue has to do with sanitary part and the reduction and tariff being taken out. And that is why I'm saying that as we speak, the ministry is not having a concrete decision on that. Mm. The ministry is working to contribute to a decision that will be taken by a number of ministries. One, the Ministry of Finance will be the veto to declare that this is what is supposed to be done. Even that is subject to approval of parliament. Okay. And so if we are asking the Ministry of Health to make a statement that we are reducing or we are taking the tariff of uh, sanitary part off, I don't think it will be mm. fair on us. And that is why we are saying that we are collaborating with them. We are working together with them mm. so that at the right time we'll come out with a concrete decision that everybody will know of. Okay. And no, it appears the problem goes beyond the Ministry of Health that you were learning. Maybe we believe that... Uh, the reclassification, Ministry of Health can propose that to other sector ministries. I think that, that, that should fall within their jurisdiction. And I think even before I, I entered here, a sister of, as part of the program, the CDD, a meeting also going on the same topic on C, a CDD. And I think I heard somebody from the Ministry of Finance saying, uh, even if they want to uh, take off tax, this is not the right time and all that. We should stop all those rhetoric because... Uh, Ghanaian said it wasn't the right time to take to charge e levy, but it was. It, you can do it at any time. So uh, this is the time that we feel that everybody must you get. You know, mindful of the economic condition in which we. Find it doesn't ourselves. really matter. People are still giving tax exemptions where we already have a lot. But what, so look at looking at. So are we saying that where we should allow our girls in the community to be absent from school because of? But so we don't have any any explanation to this. We believe that they have to work something on it yeah, now. Yeah, but he says it will take some time because there are a lot of agen uh, agencies. There are a, a lot of um, processes to also go through, a, a reason for which is not just a straightforward issue that you have the Ministry of Health dealing with this matter. So, so it may take longer than we, we Yeah, so, so uh, I'm, just, I'm only using E-Levy as an example. Okay. When government is meant on doing something, mm -hmm. government can do it. So I believe that this should be a priority that they should uh, take into consideration. And I believe this should, should go a long way to help our girls, yes. Why not target the finance ministry? Yeah, we, we, are, we okay. have a petition with them also. As well. It's unfortunate they are all not here as okay. well. I was just talking to you about what one was saying okay. at this, uh, a meeting that sister Okay, so they're, they're indicating to you that possibly they, they, they may not be able to do this because of the time in which we find ourselves. Yeah, so that is what I heard uh, at CDD. Mm. I was but you out. don't feel it's a, it's a coincidence? No, 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 no. no. That, that cannot be an excuse.
That's really an escalator. Wow. Latifa, what else will you do to mount pressure on, on, on government to, to deal with it? On advocating. I think we will keep on advocating. We are going to keep talking and talking and talking till our voices are heard mm. and then our needs are met. We are not going to stop. Yeah. I know they will do whatever they can. He's saying they don't have time, they don't whatever. I'm sure if any of them has a relative in the rural community, they will definitely know what we are talking about. Mm and they are going to work as soon as possible. I see. Uh, you, of course, you're a student as well, and you, you'll be joining hands with, with others. Um, what sentiments do you get from them, even looking at the kind of support your, your actions are generating starting from today? Do you feel that a lot more of your colleagues will join in the coming days to power pressure on, on government? OK, so today, after we did the, the work, mm. I had so many friends contacting me, and I've already gotten about five people who are willing to donate close to 10 boxes of sanitary pads. It's like people are really interested in what we are mm -hmm. doing, and I've gotten so many people on board already. Mm -hmm. I see, and, and that's what we're expecting. Nelson, any, any final words on, on what we should be expecting in the coming days? At least the conversation has started, and a lot more people are interested. I mean, just to know what, what the next step will yeah, be. Yeah, so the next step will be uh, Parliament's on recess now. We've dropped a petition for the Speaker. But they'll be back, I guess, next week. Yeah, next right? week. So uh, we, are, we will continue, and we'll soon we'll be engaging the uh, Parliament. We've sent a petition to the Select Committee on Health, mm -hmm. Gender, and Finance. Mm -hmm. So we'll be following up on all of them, and we'll, we could keep on pushing. We, we are about uh, 120 CSOs doing this. So we've, we are ready. How, how many do you say? We are hundred, yeah, who signed the petition? 120 CSOs wow. who signed the petition today. So we, are not, we will not keep, uh, uh, keep uh, keeping quiet. We'll follow up, and we'll make sure that we achieve whatever that we want to. Mm. I see. Uh, interesting days ahead, but grateful to Nelson and Atifa for joining us uh, here in a studio and also to the head of uh, public relations at the Ministry of Health, Isaac Kofi Bar, for uh, joining us. Uh, we also do have some updates on uh, this uh, very situation coming through in terms of the uh, sanitary parts. Uh, we'll definitely get those updates for you uh, as we have them coming through. Okay, so here's what we have in terms of the uh, imports uh, level and uh, also matters relating to uh, what we've been doing over the years, right from 2015 and uh, now to 2021 where we are, 96.1% in terms of uh, uh, the amount in U.S. dollars, it keeps declining, uh, shot up somewhere in 2018, and uh, it keeps going down um, by the year, and where we are now is uh, 31.9, uh, and, and it's gone down, obviously, because of the uh, impediments, uh, I mean, talking about the taxation and other factors that are impeding uh, this whole situation. I will keep monitoring that space and bring you some updates as and when we have them.